Kia ora, this is Arun Jacob, your friendly and frank licensed New Zealand immigration advisor and education advisor. I'm here today in the beautiful city of Wellington. I've traveled here with my colleagues Nick and Angela who are behind the camera. Uh, but standing right here next to me is James, uh, James Law. Good morning. Uh, morning James, uh, and James is from the International Department here at the beautiful Victoria University of Wellington. James is going to take us for a brief walk around the campus so that all the guys and girls who want to come to Victoria know what they expect once they come here. Well, I hope you enjoy our, our walkthrough today. I'll be showing you around the campus and what makes uh, Victoria a really fantastic place to study, but also why you should choose Wellington as your number one Absolutely. option uh, when you're thinking about studying overseas. So come and join us and we hope you enjoy uh, your visit here. Thanks, James. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Built for Victoria University. Okay. As you probably know, we've, we were established in 1897. Wow. Um, okay. So we're 122 years old now. Okay. This building here was completed in 1904. Okay. Um, so when it was built, mm -hmm. um, Wellington was a very different place. Yeah. Uh, has pride of place looking out over the city of Wellington. Oh, yeah. yeah. When it opened, yeah. um, this house the entire university. Uh -huh. So all classes were taught here, the all library right. was here. Yeah. Everything that a university needs to operate was in okay. this one building. All right. So today you're going to see just how much the university's grown in 122 years. Fantastic. You know, to three campuses, to countless buildings, yeah. to lecture theatres yeah. galore. So it's, yeah. we've grown a lot and we're still looking to grow more. So I like to think of Victoria as sort of being like a small town. Yep. Um, so we've got 23,000 students studying here in Victoria. That's a pretty big number. Pretty big yeah, number, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's similar size to Masterton, oh, the town okay. of Masterton, which is an hour north of Wellington. Yeah. Similar to Masterton, we have the same sort of services that you would expect provided in a small town. Okay. So we've got a campus pharmacy, for oh, example, wow. okay. as, as one example. Cool. We've got doctors, more cafes and restaurants that I can get to in a week. Wow. Um, so there's always different options available here. Yeah. Recreation facilities that are available for students. Yeah. So the real thing we try to convey to students is that all of their needs can be met here on campus. So right. the only concern that they need to have during their day to day yeah. when they're studying with us is yeah. how are they going to you know, navigate their studies Correct. during the week. Yeah. Everything else is, is catered for. Oh, okay. So they don't need to go down to the city, they're not spending hours of time you know, running yeah. those little errands. You're right. It's a space where students can come in yeah. between their classes yeah. and they can do, you know, do whatever they need to do. I'll talk a little bit about group learning today because it's a really important way of how we teach here at Victoria. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of our big mottos that we've got that you might have seen on our website mm -hmm. is learn how to think, mm -hmm. not what to think. Mm -hmm. so studying at Victoria, we really reinforce that by okay. encouraging mm -hmm. you to, you know, get together with, with groups of friends, mm -hmm. get to know your fellow classmates and discuss and debate ideas. So studying at Victoria, um, you have your traditional lectures that you, uh, yeah. that you have at every university, mm -hmm. but at Victoria as well, we have uh, individual classes that supplement those lectures, known as okay. tutorials or seminars or laboratories, depending on the subject that you're doing. Yeah. Those classes uh, break you into smaller groups of say about 30 students okay. and that's where you can really get to know people in your class yeah. um, and ask those kind of questions that you might feel a little bit you know, maybe awkward about yeah. asking um, in a class of 300 students mm -hmm. but it also fosters that collegiality which I've spoken about yeah. and you're, this is a really good example of uh, uh -huh. how that works in practice so uh -huh. we have these spaces just off the campus hub here okay. um, in the center of the Kelvin campus yeah. where students can just come at any, at any time of the day yeah. and there's whiteboards for them to work on equations yeah. we'll write down their ideas for mm -hmm. preparing for their exams and this is a really Fantastic time for you to be here with us yeah. because we are actually at the end of our exam period for our second trimester. Okay. So there's a lot of students working together at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, that common goal of ensuring that they all, you know, get through the, the class and pass with great grades. 
So this is our main library here okay. at the Kelvin campus. Right. Um, so it services that main hub yep. for all of our uh, library services. We've got four libraries yep. across our three campuses okay. uh, in Victoria. Yep. Um, we've got a specialist library for business, for the business school. Okay. We've got a specialist law library. A specialist library for architecture and design. Wow. The main Rankin Brown Library here covers all of those subject areas. Okay. So materials are available uh, for students studying any subject area. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a really key thing to emphasize because we do have students who study um, multiple degrees, yep. particularly at an undergraduate level, um, or even at a postgraduate level as well, who might be studying in between the campuses. And whilst they're very close to one another, 15 minutes walk yep. down the hill to the other campuses, okay. having the ability to go to a central library at any campus that you're at and still yep. be able to access the materials yep. is key for student success. So we're here in the Alan McDermott building, which is yep. home to uh, engineering, chemical and physical sciences. Yep. And it's aptly named after Dr. Alan McDiarmid here, yeah. who was a undergraduate student here at Victoria University. He's a local, he's from my hometown of Lower Hutt, oh. which is just north of Wellington. Yes. And he studied here in the 1950s. Mm -hmm. From very humble beginnings, he worked his way up. Mm -hmm. uh, he worked as a caretaker, a janitor, wow. in the labs as well while he was studying here Ooh. in order to earn his keep, I guess you could say, oh, okay. um, to also supplement his studies. Um, so he took degrees from the United States and from Cambridge University as well and so picked up his doctorate for working uh, in the United States. Yep. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in the year 2000. He invented a technology that I guarantee that your students, when I say it, they've probably never heard of it, mm -hmm. but they're all using it. Using they're probably, it. right now, they're probably watching this video okay. using the technology that Alan and his That's scientists impressive. invented. Yeah, yeah. And what they invented is a thing called conductive polymers. Okay, conductive polymers. Have you ever heard of? Yeah, which was your touch screen. Yeah, there exactly you go. right. <laughs> so they invented touch screens. Yeah. yeah. Um, so they, do, they were doing that work, pioneering work in the 1970s. Oh, so really. It's changed the world. Well, that's we wouldn't have, I don't think we'd probably be able to be talking yeah, to students exactly. like this. Well, there we go. You're yeah. doing one of them right now, right here. Absolutely. <laughs> so plastics being, uh, yeah. you know, electricity running through plastics yeah. and all of that, it's literally changed our, our world. That's always where I like to sort of end up here on our tours is that anyone can come from such humble beginnings yep. and change the world. Yep. You know, the students who might be watching this video now may have the next greatest idea and they can come to Victoria Absolutely. and be in a space where that idea can flourish Absolutely. and they can be supported to yeah. to change our world yeah. and I, I'm excited to yeah. hopefully see some of these oh, students definitely. come and here. And no better that. endorsement than the most desired award in the world which is the a real Nobel right there, um, by somebody from Victoria University, so it's amazing. Yeah. James, that is yeah. fantastic, yeah. and a great way to sign it off, man. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Yeah. To sign off on a high with a real Nobel yeah, right absolutely. there. First time I'm ever seeing a real yeah. Nobel, actually, and I've never seen a Nobel before. But thank you so much no for the worries. time you spent today with us. Yeah. And you've been very kind and generous, and a bit of a workout for all yeah. of us. But yeah, that was very cool. But now I look forward to uh, recording some really good top quality students who deserve to be in yeah. Victoria and we look forward to building this partnership for us.